The Toadies were a band that in the 90s were on radio airplay probably all over the state of Texas with the release of the song Possum Kingdom. So that, that was kind of background music to that era for a lot of us. Throughout the whole state, uh, they're definitely kind of a Texas icon. The band invited my wife and I to come to their show at the Panther Pavilion in Fort Worth. They do the Dia de los Toadies concert every year with some other bands. And it, it was cool, we had a good time. We were able to go backstage and hang out with the band and uh, talk to them. Um, some more about the project and uh, you know, get to hear them live. That was the first time I got to see them live, so uh, it, it was a neat experience and um, able to kind of uh, connect the dots with uh, some of Clark's history as well as my own that crossed paths back in Austin. had this album we were trying to figure out how to you know what to do for the artwork and we all had different ideas and nothing really struck a chord with everybody until one night I was watching this documentary about sign painters and saw some of Sean's work in there and just instantly these images started kind of like hitting me. His style of work really matched with what we felt like the music brought to the table. I'm an artist and a sign painter, originally from South Texas, spent a lot of time out in California. I've been uh, painting signs and pinstriping cars for over 25 years. Started work with my dad's company, Star Custom Paint, down in South Texas. The Toadies contacted me last year. They had seen the film Sign Painters, and they liked some of the things I had to say. And uh, when they started looking us up, they realized that we were in North Texas, which is kind of their old stomping grounds. And so they sought me out and asked me if I'd be interested in creating an original piece of artwork for their album cover. They gave me a uh, rough cut of the, the studio album to listen to while I worked on the design. I, I was surprised when I first heard the cut for the new album, because it's, um, you know, so much of what they've done in the studio is hard, but it was like pleasantly surprised because hearing a lot of those songs restructured like that, I, I found really appealing. So even though I like the original studio cuts, I really like what they've done with the twist on, on, the, on those same songs for the new album. And I tried to create the same vibe that they had with the album recordings at that point, which was kind of back to basics. Um, a lot of the tracks are, are acoustic um, and uh, they've got a little bit slower vibe. So I really wanted to create something that uh, captured that feeling um, and that uh, also kind of expressed a timeless Texas vibe. Um, which is why you see the combination of the, not only the glass pieces, but the, uh, the distressed wood that is part of the piece. Uh, this record is a departure for the band in that it's a lot of uh, uh, acoustic instruments as well as a bunch of other stuff. It's kind of a hodgepodge of music, but it was very, uh, put together very grassrootsy, I guess. We just started playing the songs in a new uh, unplugged vein, and uh, it just kind of grew into this whole project. When I was a kid, I, you know, when I was first buying LPs with my own allowance, if it had a picture of the band or any artwork that just was distracting to me, I wouldn't buy it. And uh, I just wanted to get the record, put the headphones on, and put the record away, maybe look at the words. Uh, because I wanted to make up my own story. This piece just kind of fits to me, it just fits in my mind with the, the way that the music works with the just mandolins and acoustic guitars and keyboards and synths and all kinds of stuff. So. The arena of album covers has just changed so much in the last 30 years. Uh, that I, we're really happy to bring back like a handmade physical piece to, to put on the album cover. Um, and Sean was just the perfect guy to do that. To create some of the external stuff on the, on the, on the work, it's he, some kind of chemical process where he puts asphalt on there and the, and the chemicals allow it to 
bleed a little bit, and that, that's what you get around the outside of it. And that's really cool because it's that also looks very handmade and detailed. And then you have the strong text in the middle of it, and it all works together really well. Uh, the process that I used it's uh, called reverse glass gilding, and it's a process where you paint everything in reverse on the back side of the glass and that used a combination of water gilding to create a mirrored finish with some of the pieces, as well as oil gilding, which gives more of a, a matte finish um, and more texture to the gold. Some of the processes, kind of the, the beginning step is to create all the outlining of the artwork. So after all of my sketches and final design was created, uh, I had to then paint that directly on the glass um, in reverse. And so all of the outlining was done first and then the different colors that were painted in and the textures that were created on that. The most important thing for me, I think, is that it's handmade. It looks handmade, it looks like it was crafted, you know. But somebody didn't go into Photoshop and just kind of whip something together or steal some photos off the internet and put some filters on them. Like, this was put together by hand over a long period of time by a man with a lot of skills. And that's what we wanted for the album because this album's different for us. Like our other albums are big, loud rock albums with guitars and you know, kind of just brute force rock and roll music. Whereas this album that he has made the cover for is different. It's it's kind of quieter, distilled down. It's it's almost like an antique Toadies album, really. I really like the kind of antique feel in that gold. He he explained to me that he put the gold on and then there's gold leaf and then it distressed a little bit and there's copper leaf behind it. So it gives you that uh, kind of antique aged feel. Then he also put this pearlescent blue powder in there that also adds this kind of really old look to it, this aged vibe to it. Really looks kind of authentically antique, which is again goes back to kind of the feel of the album for me. I feel like it all connects in that way. I chose to create artwork that I really felt captured the essence and the vibe of the album the band gave me. My, my concept from the beginning was to create something that looked like it had maybe been sitting in the back of an antique shop for the last hundred years collecting dust. And I, I think it, in the final pass through with the, the aging and distressing that uh, we did on it, I think it really gives it that authentic old look. With this piece, I really wanted to make something special for the band, so uh, I kind of pulled out all the stops and used multiple techniques to not only create richness, but to create a very uh, authentic, old, aged piece so that it, it looks like it could kind of almost be trapped in time. When you hear the songs on the record, you'll hear these old instruments, these old guitars, and old Wurlitzer electric pianos, and old drums, and old mandolins, and banjos, and it's all these, you know, hand-played old instruments playing these toady songs. Uh, I was just uh, blown away. I mean, it was uh, really surprisingly cool. I mean, I knew it was going to be great, but it really speaks to what the uh, organic feel of, the, of this particular record. We're just so appreciative of Sean, like, you know, uh, lending us his work. Don't scowl behind.